A film in three minutes, Blade Runner, Incept Date, June 25th, 1982. Designation, Runner, Blade. Function, Cult, Science Fiction, Masterpiece. Just a few of the many words that could be used to sum up what is easily one of the greatest and most impactful science fiction films from the 20th century. A movie whose legacy can be seen in countless spiritual successes, tributes and homages from cinema, print, music, video games, and beyond, that explores the very question of what it means to be human whilst dazzling all with its incredible visuals, stunning art direction, and terrifying depiction of the future. The story follows Detective Rick Deckard, played by Harrison Ford, a Blade Runner tasked with hunting down escaped replicants, artificial human beings who live for only a few years, created by the all-consuming Tyrell Corporation. Whilst working the case, Deckard meets Tyrell employee Rachel, played by Sean Young, who challenges his sense of purpose and very own existence, whilst the leader of the escaped replicants, Roy Batty, played by Rutger Hauer, attempts to confront Tyrell's CEO and demand more life from his maker. Based on the novel by sci-fi master Philip K. Dick, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, it's virtually impossible to summarise the artistry and complexity of the cinematic experience that is Blade Runner. Its lengthy and troubled production from crew walkouts to financial difficulties and post-production script rewrites has led it to becoming one of the most revisited, analysed and reassessed movies of all time. Director Ridley Scott released what was promoted as the final cut of the film in 2007, the most artistically and narratively complete version that also kept his intended original ending. The story's debate about the meaning of reality, the future of humanity, man's relationship to the environment and ever-advancing technology solidify Blade Runner's groundbreaking reputation over three decades after release, with the film's dark vision of the future arguably more relevant in today's world than the one of the early 1980s, whilst also cementing Ridley Scott's reputation as a true, visual, visionary director. Everything from the costumes and set design, the awe-inspiring cinematography by Jordan Cronenworth, to the instantly recognisable score composed by Vangelis, to the depiction of a barren, polluted, acid rain version of Los Angeles's future cements Blade Runner's reputation as one of science fiction's all-time greatest cinematic achievements. Its impact on the cyberpunk genre is totally undoubted, with many other movies copying or paying tribute to the film's trailblazing style and tone for years to come. But no imitations come close to capturing the lightning in a bottle that was Blade Runner, a film, a world, and a story so vividly original that it makes all other contenders appear lost in time like tears in rain.